<laughs> What's going on guys? Um, wanted to do a big uh, update video kind of thing to what's going on between um, Capcom, uh, Crunchyroll, uh, the developers, and uh, various other things. I want to say a big shout out to Hazark, another YouTube content creator who does uh, gacha games as well as, as, well as uh, Street Fighter uh, Duel. Um, Scottish guy, him and uh, Count Dankiller are probably the only two Scottish people I actually like. Sorry, there you go, I said it. Uh, but anyway, hey Zark, <laughs> you rock, dude. Thanks for liking my comment. Thanks for kind of, uh, even actually, you know, responding to me. It means a lot to me, knowing that there are other content creators out there that do feel the way I do. And so, that comment, I said that it's night and day as to how certain developers treat their player base. And what I mean by that is, right now you see on the screen, this is Street Fighter Duel. This is the actual login screen. There is my player ID, okay? I log in with my Google accounts. If you actually want to follow me or, or check me out, you, there's my player ID. Shoot me a message in game. I'm on global. Global. Not the Korean server, not the Chinese server, whatever. You know, I'm on the global server, which means all my, my transactions are in US dollar dues, not British pounds. Now... That being said, I've been playing Street Fighter Duel now for a while, a while, and in fact, this is one of the issues that I have straight away, okay, where you just go click, okay, and here come, oh, no, oh, that's right, I've already pre-logged, no, wait, 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 okay, fair enough. Normally you are literally bombarded with buy our shit, 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 buy our shit. It's like they seem to think that everyone who plays this game has a ooh squirrel moment every fucking five seconds. Anyway, I have been playing this game for quite some time. Now, what upsets me is there's my player ID, there's my guild, Hellhounds, if you want to find me, you can find me. It's not like I'm unapproachable or whatever. Okay, I am. But, what I find um, annoying is if I go to my account settings, you know, it doesn't tell me you know, how long my account's been. Yes, I prefer the, the, the Japanese voices to the, 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 the what, cause I've been playing Street Fighter for so long, most of the fighters didn't have English. They only had Japanese. So I'm used to hearing the Japanese voices. But the point is, I have recently gotten my Evil Ryu to S, which means I, I got a couple of really good pulls, which I did, I'm not going to lie. I had about 40-something tickets saved, and I bought the last three remaining tickets, because this is what a lot of people don't seem to understand. You can actually go into the shop, and you can buy the tickets for gems. In fact, you know what? I'll, I'll buy these tickets right now, okay? With my last remaining gems that I've got, okay? Uh, I'm going to buy, obviously, obviously, you got to buy the um, crystals and the bike parts uh not really i don't really need the, the the crystals or anything i will buy those though that's good that's good value um but um this is what i normally do you always buy these ones because you get get that one for free it's not that hard to actually get something up uh as well plus it also helps towards getting your weekly goals done uh, i did recently purchase a um a rose or a jury it was a rose i recently purchased a rose uh, so if we go to my lineup and we look see see there's a rose see there's the rose i bought um now and of course there's a jury so i need another jury to get this jury to, to s ranking and and whatnot saying we vega i need two more vegas to get vega to s ranking okay cool that's great but now hear me out what if capcom what if I could take characters from previous events, like extras that I don't need, i.e. this poor little gore mangler Ken, who's just sitting there going, doo -doo 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 -doo, doing nothing, because I can't get gore mangler Ken anymore, you've removed him from the pool, so I can't power up this gore mangler Ken, so they're both sitting there going, I'm so lonely, doing nothing, why can't I take those and use those like you can with a wind, uh, uh, an energy, or a fire, okay, and use them to level up people from the infernal class, from 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 the master class. That makes sense. 
it would make sense as to why you've got such shit pulls. Now, because I bought those two cards, I'm going to show you something. I'm going to go to my draw. In fact, I'm going to go to my special summons. Ooh. And I'm going to try and special summon one Eva Ryu and one Akuma. Okay, because why? Fuck knows. I don't know why. Now, I can already tell you this isn't a valid one. You want to know how I know? The animation's completely different. See? If that was a good, a, a correct pull, that bolt of energy there would be purple. And it's not. Okay. Do you really think that one card of a basic flame character was worth the, crisp, the, 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 the diamonds I just spent for that card? Answers on the postcard. Answers no. Okay. So, done. So, I'm going to change it out and I'm going to grab a Kuma. Dun dun dun! Oh! Even though I've already got a Kuma. I don't have the triple S or anything, but point is, this one's not it either. Again, the animation would be different, see? Now bear in mind, there's supposed to be 2% chance of each card that you... Do you really fucking think that that was worth two of those? This is the point I'm trying to make. If you actually look at what you can pull... Okay, because right here, it, it, it there's supposed to be like a, this should in in all our honesty, there should be a pity system. There should be a little bar that says, "Oh, look, you haven't pulled, you haven't pulled, you haven't pulled. Tada, you've pulled. You haven't pulled, you haven't pulled, you haven't pulled. Tada, now you've pulled." Okay, there really should, or you should at least just give everyone a basic version for free. Like you dig with the Gormangler, can you let us borrow one for seven days just to test him out and see if we liked him? Okay. See if we, if we could come up with combos or whatnot. That's a good idea. What I suggested of, of having the ability to say, like, like here, I've got two Dantes. These, these are useless to me. Dante is useless to me. I, I love the Devil May Cry games. The originals, not the fucking horrible remakes. The original Devil May Cry's on PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2. You know, I loved those Devil May Cry's. Hell, I even have Dante and my Marvel vs. Capcom 3 team. You know? But, I'm sorry. No. What is genuinely stopping... Uh, honestly, greed. That's what's stopping you from letting us do that. Same as the shard system. Okay? You realise... Okay, and I, I've, I've pointed this out in pre previous videos. I'm going to point it out again. Okay, take a look. Okay, if I go to my inventory, my bag, all right, I have 26 useless shards of Gormangla Ken. I, I can't get any more cards. I can't get any more shards. I can't get any more pulls of him. So that is dead inventory space. Maybe, just maybe... Instead of letting us pull fighters directly, you let us pull the shards instead. And what I mean by that is I don't mean I don't mean like in bison shards or jury shards or whatever. I just mean infernal shards. And you can take those infernal shards, go to the recruit system, like right here, go to recruit, okay, and we can select what one we want. You've given us these silly little gems to go into the, into the fighting gear and whatnot. So it's not like you can't do this. Because, again, on the other previous versions of this game, you actually get shards of fighters during your pulls. You can get those shitty, horrible C-class fighters, which is an absolute... I have no fucking idea why the hell they're even in the game. They're useless. You can't use them. They are useless. They're taking up valuable character slot space. They are useless, Capcom. Crunchyroll. Who the fuck ever. They are useless. Get rid of them. Swap over to a shard system where, like I said, instead of pulling a direct character, okay, you pull shards. And I'm not talking about one or two. I'm talking about you pull 10, 15, 20, up to a whopping 30, 50 on a really like, humongous, oh my god, pull. You pull that amount. Or if you've already pulled extras of that fighter, that fighter then gets converted to shards. 
that you can then use to boost up other fighters. And you want to know what game does that? This one. This is King of the Fighters. King of the Fighters All-Stars. This is the game that to me has been, in my honest opinion, taken over my time when it comes to playing that. And bear in mind, I have spent money on Street Fighter Duel. I have not spent a single penny in King of the Fighters. And I'm further along in King of the Fighters in a week. I've been playing King of the Fighters now for a week and three or four days, almost two weeks, just 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 a, just a little bit under a gnat stick under two weeks, and I'm further along, gameplay wise, characters wise, unlocks wise, equipment wise, drops wise, then I, I genuinely feel like this game appreciates and values my time more than Street Fighter Duel. Now, when you do certain events, you can get what's known as summoning tokens. Now, you can pay for these with regular gems. As you can see right here, you can buy the gems. In fact, I'm going to move, get rid of my face for this minute, okay? Now, these are very similar to, you know, uh, uh, your, your um, uh, divination. These are pretty much divination pools. These are really ultra rare Really hard to come by, really cool, really, you know, really good fighters that are, are I wouldn't say they're game breaking, but but they are, are they don't make the game necessarily easy, but they don't make it necessarily hard. They they are balanced, that's the word I'm looking for. They're balanced fighters. Now of course I would love to get Mr. Karate, because he's Mr. Karate. Uh, I already ha I have female geese. Uh, gender uh, gender Ben uh, uh, Geese Howard, and I have this Geese Howard. I have them in here for their extra salts, but you know what? I'm going to take them out, okay? And oh, look, deselecting one or two of them has allowed me to select possibly a different fighter to add to my collection. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that amazing? Golly gee, wow! That's freaking awesome. Yeah, it is. It's amazing. And you want to know why it's amazing? It's amazing because that's something that... I'm sorry, but... Capcom, Crunchyroll, you guys would never do this. You guys would never do this. Here you go. So I've got the ones I want. Now, these gold summons, you get these for doing your weekly missions and your daily logins and whatnot and after you've completed i think it's uh, three or four uh, uh, uh daily things you get these gold summons and what these gold summons allows you to do is you get 10 free pulls now i've got three of these through completing one event so i can pull 30 fighters so let's do that shall we pop here's the first one yes Please tap the screen. Now, this is the PC pool. Okay, I've got f six gold and three uncommons. And if you have the fighter, oh, look, it gives you shards. Shards that you can use to upgrade the fighter. Shards that you can use to convert into extra soul dust, i.e. universal shards, to level up other fighters. Isn't that freaking amazing? Now you're probably thinking, why is there like six different Terrys and nine different, you know, Andes and whatnot? That's because King of the Fighters goes all the way back to 1994. Okay, this game... Covers every single genre of King of the Fighters. Less, I believe, it is Capcom versus SNK. That's the only one they haven't covered, as far as I can tell. And that's because Capcom uh, poo-pooed uh, 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 wanting to see their, their fighters in... Uh, now, nah, check this shit out. Okay. What have we gotten? Three brand new characters. Swimsuit Koala, Athena, and Robert. And look at all these soul shards. See, I just pulled three brand new characters. Okay, third pull. So so far, that's only that's only twenty pulls. This is my, this is this is this is my 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 
Tenth one, and... Okay. Cool. I've just got an Ultra. There he is. Ultra Rare. Kayo Kutsunagi from King of the Fighters 95. So, work this out. What would you rather appreciate spending your time, which is the most precious resource you've got as a human being, is your time. Let me repeat that. The most precious resource... <laughs> Thank you, M. Bison. The most precious resource you have as a human being is your time. Do you want to spend your time playing a game where you're not valued? See, and look, these are the rewards you get for, for even extra collection rewards for just playing the game and, and having other players have your fighters in as assists. You get extra stuff which you can spend to, to unlock other stuff. It's a constant, thank you for playing our game. Thank you for playing our game. Thank you for playing our game. And they don't shove, buy this from a cash shop. Buy this from my cash shop. Buy this from my cash shop. Buy this from my cash shop. Down your f***ing throat. They just don't. Now the diamond, uh, the diamond pools, where are they? There they are. The diamond pools, you can get ultra rare uh, uh, characters or combat cards. Now the way they explain the combat card system is very similar to uh, equipment that you can put in Street Fighter Duel. So case in point, say I wanted to, to upgrade a fighter, okay? Now I'm sorry, I love Vice. She's such a sweetheart. Oh, oh. And there's another thing, okay? This is a passive increase to all my fighters' stats through unlocking and collecting more fighters. See? And when you complete a collection, you get extra rewards. See? 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. King of the Fighters, uh, 2000. King of the Fighters, 2001. Uh, 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 King of the, King of, uh, uh, Mark of the Wolves or something that, that one was. And then there's King of the Fighters 2003. Then there's King of the Fighters uh, 2004. Uh, uh, King of the Fighters like nine. Uh, it, it, they they have even done um, co collabs. Yes, with the WWE, with Tekken, with Namco. Samurai Showdown. Oh, I would love to get my hands on Honmaru. Ooh. Honmaru is just... Ooh. Even... Uh, where is it? Uh, it's, um, there you go. S uh, seven Deadly Sins, even. Uh, seven Knights. Um, where is it? Uh, Guilty Gear. Oh, Soul Guy. Oh, I'd love to have Soul Guy. Uh, Street Fighter Five. See, Capcom, you have reached out to these guys. You have reached out to these guys. I would kill to get Bison in this game. Oh, I really would. Bison, not so much Akuma, because he's too, like, neckbeardy, hipster. You know, I expect to see him living in, like, reused basement, complaining that the Wi-Fi signal's not that good. But, point is, you know, even Soul Calibur. There you go. Virtual Fighter, which was the last, uh, which was the event I just got in. When the game, when I realised that this game is worth playing. If you truly want to play a game that is going... Here you go, the super missions. This is what I was telling you about. Okay? Complete these missions every day, and they give you god tier upgrade gear to upgrade fighters so that you can play the game and enjoy it. Okay? Case in point, this is a god tier Omega Rugal. Okay? He is literally the strongest fighter I've got, and I got him completely for free. For free! The dude's battle rating is almost 50k. He can literally take on bosses and one-shot them. He's absolutely fucking amazing. And and the point is, guys, that's how you upgrade their fighting skills. But this is the card system that I was telling you about. This is what uh, 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 boosts or gives your fighter extra abilities and extra skills and stuff on the battlefield. Okay. Basically... Uh, in Street Fighter dual terms, this is the vest, the gloves, the boots, and and the jewelry that you and the bike and and the cars or or, or whatever or even the, the 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 get them to SS and now now they've got an extra skill <coughs> assist skill stuff <coughs> excuse me stuff like that. Well, you get all of that just from these cards, 
And the thing is, the assists are not locked. You can change the assists depending on what set of cards you give your fighters. So case in point, if I wanted to turn my guy into a healer, I would give him the healing set. If I wanted to turn him into... Uh, uh, there are tons of different presets that you can give your fighters. So I can necessarily... Could you imagine an M. Bison in Street Fighter Duel that actually heals? Can't die. Still gets he gets up from the grave. Kind of thing. And can't die and heals. Or an Elena that can actually attack. Well you can do that here in King of the Fighters. Can't do that in fucking... You, you can't do that in Street Fighter... In, in, in Street Fighter Duel. But you can in King of the Fighters All-Stars. And... That's what I'm trying to explain to people. Is I have not put a penny into this game. I'll even show you. Because right now... Uh, where is it? If I go to... Okay, yeah, there's the welcome pass. Okay? Not spent a penny. I've literally only been playing this game... And doing the dailies. And look. Do you see? There you go. That's what I was telling you about. The, 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 the ultra rare summons cards. Could you imagine... Just by doing your dailies, the Street Fighter Duel gives you uh, 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 divination cards. No, of course they wouldn't. Because, again, they don't appreciate your time. I'm, I'm not being paid by, by, by SNK. I'm not being paid by anyone to say this. Okay? I'm saying this because I'm sorry, but guys... I appreciate and value my time. Okay, here at the Deceptive Cobras channel, yes, merch is available. At my, here at my channel, okay, I care about my time. I work from home. My work laptop is literally right here. Okay, I do cybersecurity. Everyone keeps asking me what do I do for a job. I do cybersecurity. Okay, I'm literally, I work from home and I can afford to be away if I want to, but I don't. Because. I don't see the point. I'm not going to be supporting these blatant, and I mean so blatant and hypo hy hypocritical uh, 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 cash grab moves by by Capcom or Crunchyroll or whoever it is that's doing it. I'm not. You ain't getting another penny out of me. I don't care if you bring in Bullrog, Sagat, freaking... Uh, 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 all my favorite fighters as a welcome gift for like, you know, 10 bucks. You ain't getting that from me. You ain't going to get a squirt of piss out my, out my dick when I shake it at the toilet. You ain't even going to get that. You ain't even going to get the dick cheese off the off my fucking foreskin. Okay, I'm done with you, Capcom. I'm done with you, Crunchyroll. I'll still play your game. I'll still cost you bandwidth. Do not get me wrong. But I, you are not getting a fucking penny from me. And bear in mind, bear in mind... Okay, I'm rank 106 in a week. I'm 118 in four or five months of Street Fighter, Street Fighter Duel. Are you starting to understand what game appreciates your playtime and appreciates its player base? Because it sure as fuck is not Capcom. It sure as fuck is not Crunchyroll. That's all I need to say on this matter. Deuces.